opposite. It's Nine out of 13 states had abolished slavery by the Constitution. Northwest Ordinance had all new territories were free. And, and what do you take from that? That America wasn't racist? Not only that, we were the first country to abolish slavery, not just continue the practice of it. I mean, every other nation had slavery, including today. There's more slaves today than there were back then. Standard, unfortunately, slavery is the norm. Abolition is the exception, and America led the way. Charlie, that's you have to understand. You're you're not an unintelligent person. You know that that's a logical fallacy. Why? If you and I both have kids, and we both start beating our kids at the same time, and we're ruthless, abusive parents, and you stop a year before I stop, that doesn't make us not ruthful, ruthless, abusive parents. What's abusive? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're checking out Charlie Kirk puts race beating academic in her place. Okay, this is gonna be amazing to watch. I can't tell a kick, we could love kicking us. Let's go right to today's video. <laughs> I wanna to try to debalkanize America, right? I, I think sure. I think these kind of the, the, the creation Unless of, it's the Boy Scouts. Well but that, that's that's gender. Gender de gender differences are completely important for formative reasons, sociological reasons. Do you so, think that it's wrong to have uh, international houses at these I don't love it. I'll be very honest. I don't. Okay, well, then that's consistent. That, and that's fine. I, I think that if you come to America, I want you to try to participate in our attempt to be a multiracial republic, right? In the attempt. Like, I don't love the idea of hyphen America. I don't. I don't like this idea of Chinese American, Iranian American, African American. I want, I want to try, albeit clumsy, to strive towards the idea that I'm an American. Like, I don't... So, I, I hear that, Charlie. And if I could just say this, I think this is such a crucial point. Part of, I think, why some black people and other non-white people bristle a little bit at this idea that, you know, people like yourselves really want individuality and the ability to be mm -hmm. your own person and not to be subsumed in stereotypes or groups or tribalism, is that the whole story, the whole narrative of advocating for yourself on the basis of your identity historically has been because by law, you weren't allowed to be an individual. By the constitution, you were three-fifths of a person. By uh, Jim Crow laws, you couldn't ride the same trains as whites or drink at the same water, water fountains. By redlining, you weren't allowed, to, allowed by law to live in the same neighborhoods as whites or you at least weren't going to be granted a loan to be able to live in the same neighborhoods as whites. And so many of those white neighborhoods had restrictive covenants in the lease that explicitly precluded black people from living in those neighborhoods. And people wanted to be individuals. People wanted to be able to live where they wanted to live, go to school where they wanted to live, go to the hospital they wanted to go to, marry who they wanted to marry. And the literal laws of the United States of America said, no, you cannot do that. And so people started to advocate, okay, I'm black and I don't have access to this privilege. I, I'm, I'm Asian and I don't have access to this. I'm Latino, I'm Chicano. And we had all of these movements to get people to be able to be individuals. So people bristle a little, I think, at this idea that the existence of advocacy along identity lines is to be balkanized. It's quite the opposite. Nine out of 13 states had abolished slavery by the Constitution. Northwest Ordinance had all new territories were free. And, and what do you take from that? That America wasn't racist? Not only that, we were the first country to abolish slavery, not just continue the practice of it. I mean, every other nation had slavery, including today. There's more slaves today than there were back then. Standard, unfortunately, slavery is the norm. Abolition is the exception. And America led the way. Charlie, that's, you have to understand. You're, you're not an unintelligent person. You know that that's a logical fallacy. Why? If you and I both have kids, and we both start beating our kids at the same time, and we're ruthless, abusive parents, and you stop a year before I stop, that doesn't make us not ruthful, ruthless, abusive parents. So where in the Federalist Papers does it justify slavery? Why does it matter well, that whether or not, no. That's the framework of our country. No. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying, I'm trying to get her points clearly for me. Look, I really don't get what she's trying to say. Because America abolish slavery early, and other people did not do it as early as America means they are both bad people. Nope. We all know what America did in history was bad. All these race battling people would all just come out and start talking their own. And it feels like they don't have hearts of uh, forgiveness. You understand? Like in history, what America did is very terrible. Very, very, very terrible. And it's possible that my probably my bloodline, some people who I know that in history, they were slaved by America or UK or other countries. But we have moved past that era. In history, a lot of countries were not proud of what they did. 
no country is holy or perfect even africans african countries in africa like nigeria ghana also sierra leone also other countries gambia south africa none of them is proud of what they did in history none of them is proud of what they did but when it comes to america america is a very big topic <laughs> if you want to talk about because of the race beating because of the uh, slavery that they, they, they own their history people tend to condemn them what they did they are not proud of it i keep on saying this they are never proud of it you, you can see it black americans are asking for reparation and america is trying their best to be like okay we are sorry for what you did in history we are never proud of it but the the black aspect of it the black people i would say black americans they are still glued to that thing and they don't want to see themselves as an american they want to see carrying that name black america and when they are being identified as black they call the person racist you know, see so, so sometimes like that it's we are the one doing ourselves you understand so if you choose not to move forward you keep staying in the back. I see where that gets coming from. But what she, the narrative she's carrying for her own self, for her own perspective, is totally wrong. I will say that. Because she don't want to let go of what has been done in in history. She don't want to let go. She still wants to grab to it. And if we Americans keep on grabbing to that, we will never move forward as a country. You understand? We keep on giving that stereotype that black American, Latinos, um, we won't, we won't have that bond as union ship that we are all Americans. If they ask you, is this an American passport? Yeah, I'm a black American. No, it shouldn't be so. I'm American. Just say it. I, I am an American. Finish. But if you keep on carrying that stereotype for ourselves that I am this, I am that, I am this, I am that, that division will keep on staying there. That's what Charlie is trying to stop. That's what Charlie was trying to explain to the woman that we should stop carrying that narrative of you are this, you are that, you are this, you are that. You are black American, you are Latin American. You are no, we are all American. Comment let me know what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in our next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bye. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all